Hey y'all, I am just getting ready to go outside and mow my lawn because it is a mess out there. But I figured I would drop this quick recent reads um, book recommendation video so that I don't forget everything that I've read in the last couple days. It's only been two books, but you know, information just drops, drops like flies. <laughs> the very last thing I read was um, Afterlife by Julia Alvarez. This is, I think, the second or third book that I've read by her, the only adult book that I've read by her. And apparently the first book that she's written for an adult audience in the last 15 years, according to Goodreads. This book is about a woman, Antonia, who is in her 60s. She is from the Dominican Republic and has been married to an America, a white American doctor for the last however many years. And in the very first chapter of the prologue, really, um, he dies. And so the book is really about Antonia's um, life for the year after her husband, Sam, passes away from um, an aneurysm. And what happens to her during that year? One is that she has three sisters and so some of the expectations around who she is and how she contributes to her family, she's really thinking a lot about that. And it uh, feels like she's one of the more sensitive sisters and that they don't really understand her very much. But her really outgoing sister, who's the oldest, um, is missing for a portion of the book. So some of it is about how um, the sisterhood deals with that crisis. And then the other crisis that Antonia is dealing with is that the undocumented farm worker from Mexico who is working next door asks her to help him get his um, girlfriend from, from Colorado to where they are um, in Vermont. So Antonia, because of the grief that she's still experiencing from the loss of her husband, is really not sure she wants to be involved with this girl or um, the worker next door or any of those any people really. Um, and the Vermont farmer who's employing um, Mario is his name, um, is not a very nice guy. He's pretty grumpy. Um, so she's not sure she wants to get involved in it. So the book was really well written. Tonya, the, the lead character is a retired English teacher. So she spends a lot of time thinking and remembering the kinds of things that she taught to her students. And so sometimes when something happens to her in her life, a quote from a poet that she really liked comes up or a quote from Shakespeare will come up. And so um, she really, Julia Alvarez really speaks in a lot of metaphor. And it's, I think, a book that asks you to slow down a little bit to really um, enjoy the storytelling which is beautiful so i would definitely recommend this book if you're into contemporary fiction as well as immigration stories the trigger warnings if that's something that you like to know about are for um, suicide and mental health concerns so there's some of that in here um, I don't think, I think those would probably be the only trigger warnings for this book, but it was really good. The second book, which I don't have to show you, which I wish I had to show you, was The Girl with the Louding Voice by Abby Dare. So I listened to that in audio and I love listening to books with the narrator with an accent when the book is set someplace else where people would sound different than I than I sound. Um, I really like listening to, really like reading books like that on audio um, to kind of get that sense. Also, the main character is someone who wasn't able to complete primary school because she had to stop and work for her family to make money. Um, so it's also told in the English that she uses so a lot of the differences in the way that she speaks like the um, pluralizing words that we wouldn't necessarily pluralize or some of those um, verb tense differences 
um, are the way that the book is written and the way that the narrator is able to read it out loud. It takes me a little bit longer to get into a story that I'm reading through my eyeballs um, if it's written in that way just because I'm not used to it but I really like listening to it that way. So I was glad that I did that. The main character is a 14 year old girl who is really hoping to go back to school and become a teacher, but her family, her dad, her mother has passed away. Her dad forces her to marry an old man in the village so that he can get her bride price that can help pay for their community rent and for food. The old guy already has two wives and he's really trying to get a wife who will bear him sons, which are the valued child in their village. Our main character befriends one of her other wives, one of her senior wives, and then terrible things happen. She, our character runs off, um, is on the run to try and build a new life for her. Um, and she goes to Lagos, which is the, a major city in Nigeria and some things are good there and some things are also terrible there. She's basically um, been sold um, as a housemaid. So she's still really trying to figure out how to make a better life for herself and hopefully get back to school. Her mother told her that education was the way she was gonna be able to have a louding voice and a place of status and power in the world. So she's really, really trying to find that for herself. So that's the girl with the louding voice which again was really wonderful. I loved it, read it in audio, and I would recommend that if you also enjoy accents. I think it's a book that I will probably reread later and I will probably do it in print. I often uh, pick a different format when I reread a book, so I will probably do that. So those are my two most recent reads. Would definitely recommend both of them. Um, I just got some books from the bookstore, so I'll probably post a chapters one post coming up where I read the first chapter of a few different books to decide what to read next but I'm also I also pulled the Dactyl Hill Squad off of my shelf I love me some DJO and haven't read um, a middle grade book in a few books so and this has been on my shelf since it came out because I was just so excited about it that I bought it when it dropped so um, maybe this is the weekend for this it's also my husband's birthday, so he thinks I should like do something with him, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. Um, so I will see you guys soon, and I'm looking forward to seeing what other people are going to read this weekend. See ya!